In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find the hidden function inside of Adobe Spark to access their free font library. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print on demand business. So like I said in the intro, there is actually a hidden feature inside of Adobe Spark that allows you to access a lot more fonts that you can use 100% for free. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. It's really simple to find, but it is kind of hidden. So let's go ahead and jump into some screen share so I can show you guys where it is. So today I was working on this design. This was a design that I wanted to put on a red shirt and it says when nothing goes right, go left. And I'm fine with the layout of this design. I'm fine with the colors, but the one thing that was bothering me was this font. So I spent a bunch of time looking basically at every font that's already in here uh, for something that's like hand lettered or feels like it's kind of written on top of it. And I just couldn't quite find what I was looking for. And then I remembered we actually have access to Adobe's font library. And so the way you get here is if you click on any font, if you click on any text that you have already added and go to where you can change the fonts in the type tab and you scroll all the way down, you can actually see this button that says browse Adobe fonts. Now, I know there was some confusion. I showed this to a few people and they clicked on this button, which is add your own fonts. And this is a premium function inside of Spark for if you have your own fonts that you want to use, you can also add them into this program. But at the bottom of the list is where the browse Adobe fonts button is. And if we click that, it's actually going to bring us to their library. And it gives you this warning. It's telling you that it's gonna bring you to their library where there are thousands of fonts that you can use inside of Spark. Now, since I don't have a Creative Cloud subscription, like it says up here, it's more like 200 fonts, uh, but there are a lot more fonts if you do have uh, the Creative Cloud subscription. But 202 fonts are still really good for a free library that we get access to. And this library is so fantastic because of the way it's organized. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see that there are a lot of filters. You can go from the different weights, the widths, the contracts, X height, uh, and all of these different uh, ways of filtering out the exact font you're looking for. And since I know that I want something that's hand lettered, I can come in here and I can look for script, which is like someone writing with a pen. And then there are all these other script fonts that I can add very quickly to my design. So I've tried Yellowtail, that was one that I added before. And so I'm gonna try this one up here. It's a little bit thicker and I think it will stand out. So I'm gonna go over here to this button that says View Family. If there are multiple fonts inside this family, there's only one here, you can activate all of them with this button up here. But since there's only one, it says Activate One Font. We click this switch on and it will tell us, hooray, we did it. The licensing is simplified. We don't have to worry about licensing this font. Adobe has already taken care of that. And we can use them everywhere where we have our Creative Crowd subscription, which for this purpose is only Spark, but we can go ahead and hit OK and go back into the program and it's automatically added at the bottom of your font uh, list here. So again, if I click on my font, if I go into my fonts here and go all the way to the bottom, it's going to show the ones that I've added. And one of the last ones I just added was this handwritten font or this script font. So I'm going to click that and then it will say go left. And maybe if I don't make this capitalized, it'll look a little bit better. So there we go. Now we have more of a handwritten font on top of our design. And that's exactly the style I was looking for. And if you'd like to see more tips and tricks about Spark, we have a playlist on that. And we also have a playlist for how I'm using this tool for our print on demand business and showing you guys how quick and easy it is to make designs with it. And both those playlists will be over here. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.